Houston, we've got a problem. It's a small problem. It's a small problem. First of all, let me greet you. Say hello. How are you doing? How are you holding up? What are you doing? Are you sewing? I am not. That's the small problem. I finally got the gumption to deep clean certain areas of my house. And that means yay on the one hand and no sewing on the other. I'm also baking a lot, cooking a lot. Yay! No sewing. Um, but I have a few things to share with you today that might be interesting to you. Now, I have managed to cut this dress out. This is Simplicity 7912. It is from 1964, I believe, and I've chosen a really cute, 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 cute. If you don't like cute, you might want to turn away because this is real, real cute fabric. This is a cotton lycra from Fabric Mart in pink with what looked like retro scenes printed on it. Retro scene fabric for a retro pattern. Like I say, it is cut out. Oh yeah, it's sitting over there on the table. Just kind of staring at me every time I walk past it. Hi, remember me? Um, I have gotten some new patterns in the mail and oh boy, you guys. These are new look, hard copy, counter pattern books. Counter pattern books. They are from 2014. I am totally over the moon about these. And I found these on Insta, no, I found these on eBay. They have current patterns in them, but they also have a lot of patterns that I haven't seen before. And I am a new look fan. Let me see if I can find one or two that I have not seen before. Well, these are awfully cute, and I don't think they are in the current new look pattern drawers. Look at these. Look how cute. And they have a whole section called um, workroom. Very cute stuff in the workroom section. I hope these are showing up. So, as you know, I love pattern books where I can just sit back, although I don't need any more reasons to sit back. But I can just sit back and gaze at them lovingly and make a few notes on ones I might want to order. Here is summer. Here is winter. You also get some more poses for the patterns that are still in the stores, even if we're not. Um, I kind of like to see more poses because you only get that one on the envelope and no more on the website. Well, I guess, yeah, maybe sometimes you get a few more on the website, but I do like to see the patterns in action in more than one shot. So these books have been a whole lot of fun. Now see, I have that pattern. And I made a video a long time ago. I think Candace was in it. And I said, I'm gonna make this dress. And I held up the fabric I was gonna use and that's one that fell by the wayside. 
so I should revisit that. I've gotten some new patterns in the mail that I'm going to show you, but let's talk about quick sew first, okay? Here is an old quick sew pattern, and here is a new quick sew pattern. So I'm just showing you how the envelopes look. Of course, we can go super duper old quick sew pattern. This one is one that I just received and it was from the 1960s. But here's why I bring it up. Now they were acquired by McCall's in 2011, I believe. And the quality started to go but I got all excited because I saw on a discussion forum that um, Quixo had released new spring patterns yes but there was a catch the only new spring patterns they released were craft patterns you know stuffed animals make your own pot holders make a tiny hat for a kitten kind of stuff no apparel whatsoever and i don't know if you know that the big four they were bought by css industries not that long ago maybe in 2018 2017 and they've been sold again to a company based in the UK. So the website has changed. I can't say I'm a fan of the new website. Um, we'll leave it at that. I am not a fan of the new website. I keep checking for their website sales and I haven't seen any in a while. But that new release from Quixo makes me wonder if they're going to phase out the Mrs. Pattern, Mrs. and Men's apparel pattern line and just do crafts. And if so, that is falling a real long, long way from these days and even these days when Kirsten Martensen designed beautiful, beautifully drafted patterns that she wrote wonderful instructions for. And you came up with nice garments every time. She had a sterling reputation. It was just a great pattern company. And so when McCall's bought it, acquired it, the quality started to slip. And now they're not, well, I don't know if they're not ever going to put out apparel patterns again, but they didn't with this latest spring release. So keep your ears open and let me know if you know anything about that. I'm a big quick sew fan. Not everyone is. The current quick sew patterns happen to run big. Speaking of big, this is a top I made myself when I got back into sewing. This is a real light, shiny poly, blouse weight poly. Looks a little bit like a scrub. I wear it. Okay, um, I'll show you my patterns that have arrived within the last week. So I know you haven't seen these yet. However, on my Instagram, I put up a picture of this one because it's so adorable. I know I have an ugly back, but I bought it anyway. I'm going to make it. It is McCall's 8330. Oh gosh, that art from way back when is very appealing. They did not represent a whole lot of people in the world, which is lamentable. I guess that's just the way it was. Um, Simplicity 9250. I got this and I thought, why did you get that? I uh, guess because of the shorts, the pajama short set. 
I thought was might be good for me. But I'm still rather perplexed as to why I ordered it. This is an old quick sew. God bless it. Pattern 3139. And I have noticed that quick sew prices on eBay and Etsy are really steep. And it bugs me, but they are because they're already kind of rare, these older ones. And if they're not going to be producing fashions anymore for women and men, then I think they're gonna get even more expensive and collectible. I believe I paid about eh, between seven and eight dollars for this one, but I love the top with those split cap sleeves. And you get the skirt, and it's a pull-on skirt, easy. You even get the little scarf. And a basic tank. Now, um, these are meant for woven fabrics. And I got another quick sew, 1385. I absolutely love this robe. And I love the three-quarter sleeves on the yellow robe, so that when I'm in my robe until noon, I mean, I might as well admit it. I can wash dishes and my sleeves won't get wet. I have a bathrobe that I wear now that my mom gave me. So I don't wanna throw it out because it has sentimental value. It's got these very long, big roomy sleeves. And I try to roll them up when I'm gonna wash dishes and it never ever works. They just come right back down again. So I'm gonna make myself a new robe. And these robes are finished with trim. So you can quilt the edges of this robe and you put lace on the edges of that one. Ooh, I love this one, Simplicity 8846. This is just my kind of 1960s Jiffy pattern by Simplicity. The number is 8846. Did I just say that? That's about it. That's about all I have for you. I don't have new fabric, but I have received my Fabric Mart Fabric East to Make number nine fabric, so I will have to get sewing. I think it's gonna be time to bring Brad in and for him to choose a quick sew pattern for me to make because left to my own devices, I will not go over to that table and sew. I don't know why. I don't know why. I did manage to put away my winter clothes, open the bed. We have one of those Ikea king beds that opens. It's got like these pneumatic hinges so we can open it up and then there's storage in there and I roll my clothes in great big rolls to put them away for the season and when I saw how much I have for summer my heart sank I just thought I can't believe I've sewn all those clothes I mean it's wonderful and I plan on sewing more. I know my sewing desire will return, and it better because I have enough fabric to open a small store. Um, so I didn't even get all the summer stuff out. I just left a bunch rolled up and closed the bed and tiptoed away and hung some summer things up in the closet. The day dawned today, freezing cold outside and I've put away my sweaters and my coats, you know, that's just bound to happen every time you do that when you switch over your clothes. So I'm going to stop yakking and I am going to find out a bit more about quick sew, see what's up there. Wishing you the best as always. Looking there, looking there, 
Wishing you the best as always. I missed you. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just lazy. And I'm, and I'm cooking and I'm baking and I'm doing some things around the house. So I'm going to try and get back to sewing and I hope all is well with you. Let's talk soon. Thanks for every single comment that I get. I read them all even if I don't reply. And in fact, I, I'm kind of full of guilt because I feel like I've let you down with the sewing. Then I feel like I let you down with the comments because I'll think, okay, I've got some time. I'm gonna go through and, and comment back and chat with people. And I get through a whole bunch of them and then something comes up, I get called away and I don't get back to the rest. Maybe it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but I don't wanna hurt anyone's feelings. So I'll try to do better with that. And um, once again, I'm sending you all my best. I hope you're sewing even if I'm not. And grab a pattern book. Put your feet up and look through it if you have one. If you don't, just look through your patterns because there's great inspiration. I'll talk with you soon. Bye.